Okay, now we've talked a lot about using data, building components, nesting components, passing data around using props, but interactivity, that's really the core of any web page. Is if the user can't interact with it, then there's not a lot they can do. It's really static content. So how do we add events and how do we handle events in React? Okay, I've built a new uh, pretty basic page here, new React project. This is my app.js file. I have a an array called data. Inside of it is a series of objects. Each one of them is just a, a beer. I came up with a random number for the ID. There's a style, a beer, and a brewery property for each one of these items. I'm doing an array map method. So I'm looping through each one. The item is the variable that represents each one of these objects. So we're looping through. There's eight different beers here. So I'm looping eight times using map. That's going to return the object, which will be rendered. The object that I'm rendering is one called list item. Inside of list item, I have my key, which you always need whenever you're doing a map and you're repeating elements on a page, you always need to have a key. And then I've got a prop called beverage. And that is the item, which is this variable right here, which really is just representing each one of these items, each one of these objects inside my array. Okay, so rendering through that, each list item is really just an LI. If we look at the page, this is what I'm rendering. So there's eight list items, each one of them is displaying the name of the beer. If we look in the rendered code, here's the UL, here's our eight list items, there's the keys. If we open that up, we can see there's the list item being rendered with the name of the beer. Now, clicking on it, we can go over to props and we can see, yeah, beverage. That was the name of the prop that we created back here. Here's the prop called beverage being rendered right there. And inside of beverage, we have beer, brewery, ID, and style. So those four things are going to be available for us on each one of these list items. Okay, so that's what we're building. What I want to do is I'm going to add a click listener onto each and every one of these. So when I click on it, I can console log some stuff out. I can do other things as well, but for this example, we'll keep it simple. We'll just look at, if I click, I want to console log some of this information out. So how do I do that? Jump over to our list item page. Here's the list item JS file. Here's my class. There's the whole thing. That's the whole component. There's a render method. I'm reading this.props.beverage, and I'm using destructuring to extract the beer, brewery, and style properties from beverage. That way I don't have to write let beer equals this.props.beverage.beer, let brewery equal this.props.beverage.brewery, let style equal this.props.beverage.style. Gets a bit redundant as you can see, or as you can hear. So return, write out a list item with the value of beer inside. If I change this to say uh, brewery, save, go back to the browser, there it is. There's all the breweries being written out instead. And my warning is about not using the beer variable. So we can undo that. All right, uh, I have also the prop types down here. I'm doing prop types shape because what I'm passing in here with props is beverage, which is an object. Inside the object, I have these three things, beer, brewery, and style. There's actually also an ID, so I can add that here too. So we're saying that prop types ID is, sorry, going to be a number. There we are. So shape is used with prop types to determine what are the properties inside of the object? And then I'm saying that this is required. My default props, let's add the ID property inside there as well. We'll set it to zero by default. So we have a number and then we have strings for the other three properties. This is what happens if for some reason this list item component gets called somewhere and this beverage property is not being passed in. Okay, now click listener. That's why we're here. Inside the list item, on click, this is just like what you would write in the HTML. 
Now, the only restriction here is with React, this has to be camel case. So the C for click has to be capitalized. There are a whole bunch of the events on double click, on context menu. So whatever you would write in your JavaScript, click, double click, and so on, pretty much the same as those. There is, uh, I'll leave a link to the documentation page for React that will show the um, list of different events. There's a lot of events. Pretty much all the events that you would normally have in the browser are available in React. And then we say on click. Now, I'm not going to use a string here because this is JSX, remember? So we have to put the curly braces. Inside of here, I'm going to put the name of the function that I want to call. Okay, so let's say I had a function up here called beer click. I can define it like that. So I want to call this method right here inside the render method. If I use the keyword this, I am talking about my component, the list item component. So I can refer to it as this dot beer click. And that works. That's all I have to do. It's going to call this function. It will pass in an event object. So I could console.log ev.target, let's say. That's going to be this list item. So let's try that, just that on its own. So the page is re-rendered. Come in here. Here's my list items with the LIs inside. And if I click on it, you can see, OK, yeah, on click, call the function beer click. All right, that looks good. So I'll try it out. And there it is. There's the one I clicked on. Sunsplit, Sweet Lulu, Lost Train Oatmeal Stout. Okay, so that's working. I'm getting the target of the event. Great. Now, this is fine if you don't need to refer to anything else. So inside of here, I'm just talking about the event target. But if I wanted to get at the props object, now I'm having a problem because to get to props, I have to say this.props. And inside of functions that you create yourself, so this class, its methods, if I make one up, I can't use the keyword this. It doesn't know that this is attached to the component. Down here, inside of render, we can use the keyword this. If I were to create a constructor, so like all classes, there's a constructor in JavaScript, there's a constructor. Props will automatically be passed into here, and whenever you do that, you should always call the super, because that's going to call the React component class, and pass the props up. So we should always do that. Inside of here, I can use the keyword this. So this is OK to use here. This is OK to use inside of render. In fact, in all of the lifecycle methods, we can use the keyword this. But here, no, can't do it. So how do we get around that? How do we get access to this? Well, it means that we have to bind it. We have to bind this method to the class. So when it gets called, the keyword this will be able to be used in here. So we can access state. We can access properties or props. Now, there's a couple of ways we can achieve this. One, down here, we can say bind this. Now the context is there. So now, if I come up and say console.log this.props.beverage, that'll be the object. This is going to work for us. So if we click on one of these, there it is. There's the one we clicked. And here is the object itself. This is the props.beverage. So it's working. If I remove the bind, this will re-render. I hit save, didn't I? Yeah, save. There we go. And I click on one of these. Boom. There we go. Fails. Can't read property props of undefined. The undefined is that this, it doesn't know what that is. So we have to do a bind. So originally, probably the most common practice was to just put the bind in here. Then what happened was people would come up into here and say, OK, 
let's take this dot beer click and this dot beer click we're going to bind this to it so an alternate way doing the same thing you can do it inside the, the on click because this works inside of render you can do the binding up here inside the constructor because this works in here or there is one other way that we can do it so this is version one version two would be to have bind down here let's uh, duplicate this put this inside of some comments in our JSX this dot beer click dot bind this that's going to work but my preference is to come in here and say beer click is equal to an arrow function just like this that's going to work that's all we have to do instead of just saying beer click as a method we say beer click is equal to an arrow function the arrow function now works with lexical scope and understands that okay what is the context of this well it's whatever the context of this is and that's the component now this is going to work in here we don't have that issue that es5 would have with the regular functions oh what did i uh, uh this beer click yes when you return anything from the render method you can only have one parent so the li tag is our parent so i can't put this in here let's remove that and i will just put it down inside of regular comments down here like that so that's version one yeah i'll leave that up in the constructor okay let's jump back to the page there we go we're working now what we're testing is the ability of this to work with the function written this way and there we go it's all working fine okay now with this way of doing the bind there is sort of one other alternative that we can use if I comment this out if you want to go back and do bind this you can with bind pass in a bunch of arguments now by default if you just go bind this EV that'll be the event it's the only thing that's passed in if I pass in other arguments so let's say I pass in beer brewery style so I'm passing those three things up to this function these are now going to be the first three things that come in here as arguments and the event is going to be the final thing so we could console.log those three things now this is going to work as well because I'm passing from props up to here I don't have with this way right here I'm binding it to this so I can use this but I'm also passing in the properties directly so you can see that I am getting all the values being written out here so that was just one other way that you could do this if you want to do bind and you want to pass in other values you can do that but I think now with the current version of react the simplest way for us to do this is really just to go back to doing this use the arrow function there we are and then you've got access to this which means this dot props this dot state I've got access to those things and I can use them there we go okay so that is event handling in react um, you just add it in make sure you do the camel case inside of curly brace you put the name of the function that you want to call make sure you put this in front of it to target the function that's inside of your class your component and then write your syntax this way for the method so that it does bind it which means that you can use the keyword this inside of here all right so if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments down below if you found this useful please share it and as always thanks for watching